Hey Geek, so when it comes to Blu-ray collecting, this is something that I absolutely love to do. So I just got some new Blu-rays here today. But the thing is, I don't actually watch my Blu-rays by putting it into a Blu-ray player or even watching the disc physically most of the times. How I watch my movies is basically putting all of these discs into my media server so then I can watch all of this from my own server, okay? So basically like my own Netflix and the software that I use is Jellyfin and I have done previous videos on this so if you don't know what it is or how to install it, I will leave links in the description area below and you can watch that after this video. But today I kind of wanted to do an update on my collection on Jellyfin. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my computer and as you can see here, uh, there is Jellyfin. Um, and the thing is, this takes quite a bit of time, okay, for you to actually uh, rip your movies, you know, backups, whatever the case might be. And then once you get your movies here on your Jellyfin server, you know, it's gonna have to download all the necessary information. And, you know, this stuff all takes time and it takes up space as well. Uh, but once you get it on here, you could use it just like you would Netflix. Uh, the only thing is, this is your own personal streaming service. And this is something that I absolutely love. It's just giving me so many more options to watch the movies that I own. And at least for me, this is my favorite way of watching it because this is similar to how you would normally watch your uh, digital movies, you know, and at the same time, I could watch it on multiple devices and I could even watch it, you know, through the internet. Um, if you wanted to, you could set it up that way. So a lot more convenient uh, versus just having to physically watch it. Now, with all of that being said, let me show you what I currently have. And the thing is, um, in terms of my Blu-ray collection, at the time of this video, I currently have a little over 500 Blu-rays. But in terms of the amount of movies I've been able to get on Jellyfin, uh, I have way less than that. And right now, I don't see like a numbering system or an easy way to do that. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have about 70 movies right now loaded up on my Jellyfin server. And obviously, it's going to take a lot of time for me to load all of these things up. Uh, but the great thing about Jellyfin is once you do load it up, it will basically get all these assets for you. You know, you don't have to do this yourself. It'll automatically look up all these things, which just makes it that much better. And I'm really, really super happy <laughs> to have all of my favorite movies here. And also some that are not my favorite, you know, a lot of uh, Blu-rays that you buy at some point are going to be blind buys, but I'm really, really happy that I have not only the physical copies, but I also have it on a digital format uh, on my Jellyfin media server. And so that is my current Jellyfin media collection. I am super happy to not only have, you know, the movies that I enjoy physically, but I also have it in a digital format that allows me a lot more flexibility in the form of my Jellyfin media server. And so really happy to have that. And I really encourage that all collectors put it as a digital format as well, just in case something were to happen to your physical copy or you want more options to be able to view the movies that you own. So if you actually have any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my previous videos on Jellyfin, I will leave those in the description area as well. So as always, if you get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on another episode. Hey Geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.